Yeah, you trust me about that? Worse. That's fine, thank you. I mean, it's a pretty non-specific test that because it actually does the uh, stifle hop, fet lock, probably paston as well to some extent, yeah. and so you're putting stress on all the joints. Um, but given his X-ray changes, the most likely point is the is the hop. Uh, but would that cause like it dropped through his right? Yeah, yeah, because he's, he's, it's, when you're looking at hind limb lameness, you're looking for a difference in, to determine which leg the lame one, you're looking at the bigger movement on the, on the, from the point of the hip. Yeah. And th the reason he's, he's muscle weighted is just because he's not using that leg as well, so it's dropped. Okay. And the, 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 the lameness, the, the dropping it, is, he's, he's just trying to sort of get, get weight get off it and sort of land, okay. land sort of gently on it. Um, but I mean, the other thing is when he's when he he lands with his right hind, yeah. he's throwing his weight forward to get because he, he the right hind lameness can look like a right fore lameness because they're they're throwing the weight forward. So then the the left when they're trotting, yeah, left hind and right fore hip hip yeah. exactly. So yeah. when his left fore's hitting the ground, his head's nodding down mm. to get his weight as far forward and off his right hind. Right. Um, and so the, the, the it, just because his hips moving more because he's lame. Doesn't mean that that's that the hips the oh, okay. hips the issue. Oh well, that's good. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so and well, in order to confirm that it would be th this the hock, which I'd be pretty suspicious it would be just because of his history, uh, you need to block his hock joint. Yeah. Having said that, it's so collapsed, it's pretty debatable whether you actually get a needle into it. It, w it was so it was so severe that the there's a possibility as that as time goes on if they actually fuse it might become just some instead of having you know, a couple of small joints actually just one big effectively lump of bone mm. which sometimes actually alleviates the pain but it depends on the interference with the sort of the soft tissue and everything else around it mm. yeah and the the the, the lowest one the tarsometer task the one's the most straightforward to get into so that's the one i normally do first just because it's the easiest one to get access yeah. to um, but so if it if that cock was medicated that's only yeah. going to last a certain amount of time isn't it very variable very variable right um but i mean given how lame he is i, I you know i wouldn't you know you just tell me i'm being pessimistic again but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can be no no but i know but uh, in I, all I, seriousness, be, I, be I need to know worst case scenario yeah. the worst case scenario is he's never going to be sound when, which yeah. I, i'm I'm kind of looking at it that he's never going to be 100% sound, but as long as he's comfortable. Yeah. I mean, o almost by definition, the fact that he's lame when he's trotting tells us that he's not comfortable, because if yeah. he's comfortable, he, he'd he be... Wouldn't, yeah. Now, whether that puts him at a level where it's unfair on him to be out in the field pottering about is another, is another question. Yeah. Because, um, you know, he didn't look, didn't look massively lame at war, but then... 
clearly, I mean, you can see he's resting that leg now, and he's he's and he's, he's I've obviously noticed he's re he rests yeah, it a lot. He, he's so obviously favouring it a lot, because otherwise he wouldn't be so muscle wasted. Yeah. And so I think it is giving him. It's probably giving him low grade ache yeah. most of the time, because otherwise he, he wouldn't have that degree of muscle wastage because you know he's not, he's not in work, and so just by being out in the field and pottering about, he still favoured that leg enough to have muscle wastage. Right. So, so if we started with maybe looking at bringing him up next week, yeah. how quick would you see within a an week. improvement in his w within, a, within a week maximum, you should, you should see an improvement. Right. Yeah. Okay, and then it's a case of just time to see how, yeah. how long. Yeah. Well, I say you should see an improvement if you're going to see if, one. Yeah. If, you're going to, if you don't see an improvement in a week, I think you'd say, well, you're not going to, and then, well, we can think about other options. But Yeah. Um, Is yeah. that where, you, I think you said before something about you can do a knot that actually fuses that joint completely? Potentially, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's not something I've ever done, no. and he'd, he'd need to be referred for it. I, I'd, I'd have to talk to a surgeon. I'm not yeah. sure how many people still do it, because it's... It's sort of salvage, really. Um, right. Uh, yeah. Um, it's just it, it's just thinking that at five, you know, if we're going to try and keep him comfortable yeah, yeah. for the rest of his days, it's how I suppose it's how long is a piece of string. I think how often he would need to have that from hock medicated. Well, from, from from looking at his X-rays, I, I I mean, you you never know, but I suspect that they'll either. Well, effectively deteriorate and therefore fuse, and theref and then get quite a big improvement within the next year or two, or you won't. In which case, he'll be chronically as lame as he is. And if he's, at f if he's five at the moment, I mean, I'd I'd have some. If he had a crystal ball and said yeah. he's going to have this level of lameness mm. for the next fifteen years, I think I'd probably have some reservations as to whether that's reasonable to for him because you know if, yeah. he's, if he's lame enough that he's got clearly a wasted gluteal yeah because then the more he gets muscle yeah. wastage and doesn't use that yeah. side then it, it's going to have a knock-on effect on other parts absolutely of body, but, I, but i definitely wouldn't say that looking at him today and knowing what his radiograph x-rays look like that he's that, that there's no hope for him yeah and so it's the the lowest and the second lowest rows of small tarsal bones which have collapsed or, or look like they've got really severe disease whereas the tarsal metatarsal which is the one between the cannon and the hock is less severe um, and so, if, so if you get the that one joint to completely fuse then there might be a uh, significant reduction in lameness but um, which i think i think the most likely thing and again, it's impossible to know without knowing his history, is that uh, when he was born, the, uh, the small bones in the hock were, um, well, they, they always are mainly cartilaginous, and then they, oss they ossify, become bone in the first sort of few weeks to month. Sometimes they're really quite soft, and if a bowl gets too much exercise, when those bones are really spongy, they just get crushed. Right. Um, and then you don't get a normal joint because the bones are in abnormal shape and the and the cartilage doesn't form properly. Okay. Uh, and that would I would think that's probably the most likely thing. But it's should we be looking work. at his other hook as well? Yeah, potentially. I yeah yeah. And yeah, and, and that, that's the other thing. I mean, if if we X-rayed the other hook as well, and they both look the same, well, I, I suppose it could mean that he's lame on both, but just much worse on this, which would be an even worse scenario. Or it could be that he's actually sound on the other one and lame on this, but they're both um, abnormal. Mm. And therefore, there's definitely a possibility that this one will become much less uncomfortable. Right. And therefore, the prognosis for his future use would be better. Okay. But it's, um, yeah, I, I think I think X-raying the other hawk would, would definitely be a sensible sensible thing to do. And just, just a trial you've got medication. Got comparison. Yeah. Yeah, because I suppose there's the risk that we could medicate that one, and actually then he goes more lame on the other yeah, one. Yeah, I mean if it if does. It, it does happen. I mean, yeah. so sometimes you have a not generally with lameness as severe as that, but sometimes with a with a sort of mild hock arthritis, say you know a show jump or something, you'd you block one hock, 
because that they say the lame on the right hind you block the hop then they go lame on the left hind which tells you that yeah. the lame on both but they're, but they're more, more severe lame. on one yeah. and then when you make that one numb then they start feeling the other one more right um so i suppose yeah. that's where it may be worth doing the nerve block first potentially yeah yeah I mean, I think I start off x-raying the other one just to see whether it's the same. Um, and I mean, given given the signs of abnormality in that hot, plus the response to flexion, I'd be very surprised if the hot wasn't the, wasn't the issue. So yes, right, okay. we, we, we definitely could nerve block him, or we could just do a trial joint medication yeah. just to, to see what happens on, say, on balance of probabilities. That's what it is, yeah. and if on the off chance the medication worked, then it retrospectively goes a long way to confirming what it is. Yeah. yeah. Ideal. Two o'clock Monday. Perfect. Perfect. Nice one. See you then. Thank you very much. Should, should I put him on views or not? Or should I see how? Yeah, I probably, I, I, I probably would because I, I've seen him without, and so yeah, I think I mean views definitely going to be. Well, it'll make his life a bit better anyway, because we make him more comfortable. Yeah. So yeah, get him on to view. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll do that then. Right. Now, as you may have seen in some of the other videos, Nero has met some of the family. <coughs> but now, because he's going to be going out in the field with the boys, we wanted to bring in the most dominant char character out there, which is Obi. Now, that's Obi on the left who's an older gentleman and he arrived with us this time last year and as I say he's he's very dominant out in the herd so following Sam our vet's visit yesterday he was quite happy for us to turn Nero out but what we didn't want to do was turn him out in a big space with Obi where Obi might have chased him around and he would have ended up running around more than his leg could cope with at the moment. So the safest thing to do, as we did with Hannes, is to bring them into a smaller space together on the level where they can get to know each other a little bit before Nero goes out into the field with Obi and the other boys. And once again, he's showing that he's not being <coughs> confrontational He's being submissive enough, so there's no unpleasantness between the two of them. So there's lots of sniffing and squealing. Where they'll establish the pecking order. We've got hole here. So obviously we bought them in separately, mm. but I think, you know, I think we can be confident to turn them out together in the field now. Absolutely, we're not really doing anything, to be honest. No. Mm. And the benefit, obviously, of, of getting them out in the field together is that once he's out there, he'll be able to move around a lot more and build up some muscle. Yeah, especially with the nature of our land, because it's it's not flat and there is he has i'm not quite sure how many acres that field is but there's quite a lot for him to roam around in which is really what conditioned obi up when he got here yeah because o obi we haven't worked him as such because he's retired he's 19 but we fed him up to get the condition back on him and then we just let him be at one out in the field mm. you know mixing with the others and building up the muscle naturally himself uh Oh, so, yep, there's a little bit of bouncing there. But on Monday, um, he will be going up to, to the surgery to start the treatment to make sure that he, he's more comfortable. But as Sam, the vet, has suggested, we've got him on Butte just to help with, with the inflammation um, and the pain management until we can, we can do further treatment with him. Yeah. So and, we'll... and I think as well with the boys, you know, going back to him bouncing just that, I think the boys do tend to play more than the girls do. They do, don't like they? Like the girls, they'll groom each other. Unless they're going to groom each other or have a go at each other, they don't really interact as much. Whereas the boys, they, they do enjoy being quite playful. Yeah. 
Especially when JB goes into the equation. <laughs> but you haven't learned how to play with JB yet. No, he so hasn't, no. You wanted him. But he will do. Oh, he will. All the boys love JB. The girls yeah. hate him, but the boys love him. Yeah. So you can see Obi there giving him a bit of a sniff. He, he did, like, raise his bottom to him a minute ago just to give him a little bit of a warning. But like most Frisians, he's more interested in people than other horses. So we're not going to put, um, we're just going to put a very lightweight rug on him, literally a rain sheet. Uh, it is going down to freezing tonight. He has got a good coat on him, but as we get a lot of rain here, we like to, to at least keep the rain off um, to stop them getting a chill, particularly if they're a little bit lean. So he'll just have a lightweight rain sheet on for his first night out. So out in our paddock for the first time. He's gone straight over to see Hannes. All very amicable. Right, baby's going to go over, check out what's going on. But we've put him out here with enough daylight left so that he can have a little explore around the field because it is quite a big field before it goes dark. Meanwhile, hiding behind me, not just Jody, is Iceman, who doesn't want to be part of the, the little gang at the moment. Are you not going to go and join in the fun? He looks very unimpressed, yeah, Jody. <laughs> he just wants to be with you and Jim and Nell. Are you going to go and see them? No. So that's good. Not loads of galloping around. They're all happy. 